Ghost Court is a party game that you'd play with your friends. Uh, it's for maybe six to 20 players uh, in a very casual atmosphere. Think about a combination of the People's Court and Night Court, but with ghosts. You can play with six, you can play with maybe up to 20. It's, a, it's essentially a party game and there's very low commitment so people can come and go. So in Ghost Court, some people are playing uh, the defendants or plaintiffs who might be ghosts or might be alive. And some people are playing the judge and the clerk and the bailiff in the courtroom. The audience is involved when you play the game. There's usually a, sort of a peanut gallery of people cheering or booing as it usually turns out because each case lasts five minutes or less. So your chance to, to get up there is, is coming very soon. It's a very light game. It's uh, raucous, silly, uh, lots of fun, not very serious at all. Uh, it uses a lot of tropes that you're familiar with from daytime courtroom television, for example. I had the inspiration for Ghost Court when I was in Poland a few years ago. I was touring Poznań and uh, we were in the old Jewish quarter and our guide very casually said, oh yeah, the basement of that house was part of a lawsuit where a ghost sued a woman to gain custody. And I thought, that's interesting, tell me more. And uh, this is a thing that happened, I think it was in the 18th century. The ghost won the case. I love this game and uh, the, I think the funnest thing about Ghost Court is that uh, everybody knows how to play. If you watch one person uh, go through a case, you know exactly what to do. It's a very, very low commitment game, so you can go up and be silly and chew the scenery for three or four minutes and then you're done. Or if you want to be the judge, then you can pronounce sentence over all your friends uh, and that's fun too. Uh, it's just a good time. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Morningstar. If you liked what you saw, check us out on Kickstarter.